Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. Most of the state is still looking for several inches to overcome that rain deficit. So this rain that we're having tonight is awesome. We're all rooting for as much rain as possible, which in some areas may max out at one inch, but that'll probably be the high end. While well, most places are able to get a half inch up to three quarters of an inch. We'll look at those rain totals so far in a second, but let's look at what's going on for the next 12 hours. We're going to see more rain. It's raining right if it if it's raining on your house right now, it's going to keep raining for the next six to 10 hours. We'll be looking at those rain showers going strong, steady for the next few hours all the way to one o'clock by five o'clock. We start seeing things breaking up across southwest Connecticut and we'll continue with those steady light showers across eastern Connecticut and then a rapid decrease in any of those showers able to give us some measurable precipitation. So we'll still see plenty of light showers. You probably have some sprinkles going on your windshield on your way to work for tomorrow. You may need to turn on the wipers and you don't need your sunglasses for the morning commute. It'll be cloudy outside. We see a few sun breaks trying to come out for the afternoon, but you may not need the sunglasses for the afternoon either. It looks like we will have just enough clouds and also some isolated showers to cap off the day into the afternoon. And we'll see those showers going from the northwest over to the southeast over the course of the afternoon into the early evening. Again, these guys aren't able to give us much. We're not going to see any thunder, that's for sure. And we'll barely see any measurable precipitation after we get through six o'clock in the morning. So not much going on for tomorrow afternoon and late morning, which is great. So the rain is going to be falling while we're asleep tonight, which is good timing for the most part, not affecting too many drivers out there. Here's look like at the last six hours. We've got this system that's basically most of the warm part of it is to the south of us. So we're kind of in that mild to cold sector of that storm system, which is going to keep our temperatures on the low side for tomorrow. We're in the lower 60s. So plenty of rain showers out there right now, actually seeing some of those yellows across Tallinn and Wyndham County across Hartford, picking up some of that moderate rainfall. New Haven, one of our big winners so far this evening. Also looking at some more of those deeper greens pushing over into your neck of the woods in between Litchfield and Hartford County, seeing some of those deeper reflectivities for sure across some of the upper elevations. And overall, that's where we'll see just a little bit of those higher rain totals, but overall it'll be a nice even spread where a lot of us get anywhere between a half inch up to an inch of rain. So it should be pretty consistent when it's all said and done. We're seeing some rain totals already over a quarter of an inch. That includes New Haven, Waterbury. You're almost there and these are about an hour behind. So th these rain estimates are a bit more right on time here. We're seeing Litchfield just under a quarter inch and Hartford just over point Zero, 00. So we're starting to see just the beginnings of that measurable rainfall along the Connecticut River Valley, and we'll see more and more of that rain being recorded over the next several hours. Here's a look at Tuesday. So fast forward to Tuesday morning. We've got some cloud cover out there, but overall we're looking at mainly sunny conditions to start off. It's going to be a nice sunny start for the day, and also that'll help counteract some of the winds that we're going to be dealing with on Tuesday and Wednesday. And it's not going to be exactly that warm outside, so the wind's making it a feel a little bit cooler and this model didn't show us any greens out there, but I definitely think we could see a couple showers up in Litchfield County, a little bit of thunder and maybe some grapple, some little tiny baby hail up there in the Litchfield Hills. But otherwise, we're just looking at some more isolated showers on Tuesday. Looks like we'll be dry and also sunnier on Wednesday. Here's a look at Hartford. Got those rain showers, 49 degrees with those calm winds in New Haven, 49 degrees, already a quarter inch of rain and counting and Waterbury, 45 degrees at the moment with mainly calm winds. So the wind's not too bad for us. Mid 40s out there. You can see some of those cooler temperatures across western Connecticut where we've seen the bulk of the rain. Temperatures are going to be plateauing for the rest of the evening, just under 50 degrees. And our high temperatures for tomorrow are going to be about 10 degrees below average. So feeling a little bit more like April than it does like May, which is just fine with me. It's going to be a very cozy week. We're looking at 60s. We finally get up to average on Thursday and even 70. No winds. There's there's that's a great day Thursday. And then we're looking at some isolated showers in the afternoon Friday into our upcoming weekend.